Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your May weekly love read. All right, we're going to pull a card to see the person on your mind, see what sign comes up, see what energy is surrounding your person as well. And this will be the energy of the read. All right, the chariot. I like it. It could be a Cancerian that you're connecting with, but this is victory. This is heading in the right direction. Somebody could be at a distance from you at the moment, too, or you may feel emotionally distant. Um, or it just may seem like the situation is just far-fetched or it's just it's uh, you just can't reach it just yet but the two of you are moving in the right direction it is moving regardless of how you see it right now and you will have victory here okay there could be movement too there could be travel um, involved in this read as well all right so let's see so that's the energy of the read as well too so we're gonna already is going to have a favorable outcome right Let's dive into this. I am doing reads like I used to do, so there will be an extended. I'll go deeper in, into the situation here. If the situation resonates with you, I will look further one to three months out. Um, and the extended, where I'll look further into your person, any messages they may have, and how this progresses. All right. Here we go. Integrity. All right. And we have seduction. All right. And we have masculine energy, taking action. So you could be connecting with your DM, um, but it's also talking about taking action and, and you, your integrity here. I feel like um, this could be somebody who you feel um, only wants one thing with you or they only come around um, or they only seem like they want one thing or just friends with benefits type thing and you want to move to the next level you want this person to take action towards you all right um, you may just feel like it's um, one-sided relationship too or that there's just it's just sexual um, sexual based okay and it's starting to bother you. It's starting to, um, you want this person to show up for you. You want them to take action. You want them to prove that you're worth more than this and you want more than this. Now, masculine energy doesn't mean it's a male or female. It just means that masculine energy is that doing action, that action energy, you know, and you want whoever you're connecting with to, you know, do, to take action, to prove to you that this is more than just, um, you know, temporary or nightly, you know, rendezvous, okay? So let's... Let's get into this and see how, how this progresses. Mm -hmm. right. Inner child, our inner child work. So. And we have guide, so following and self-reflecting, following your path, okay, and healing, all right? So I feel like this is you over here. I feel like this person is triggering you in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like you wanted something more with this person and you're feeling somewhat um, abandoned or rejected in a sense that this person's not claiming you. Um, that they are just in and out, in and out, and you're finally needing to set boundaries with this person, okay? I feel like you've been self-reflecting and you, this person, you know, when you're dealing sometimes with a soulmate or a twin flame or any kind of deep relationship, if this is resonates with you and you think this is the case, they, they bring up a lot of, you bring up a lot of triggers within each other and you start to, things from your early childhood start to flow up and feelings, um, you know, not being chosen, being abandoned, unwanted and things like that or not good enough start to come up. And that seems to be what's happening maybe with you, um, you know, you're, you're being guided you kind of like self-reflecting in the moment and you're trying to heal you're trying to you actually know what's going on i feel like you really do know what's happening to you at the moment okay but let's take a look at the masculine soulmate as soon as i said that this is a soulmate connection they might just not be seeing they're stuck okay they're stuck for some reason um and why are they stuck they're in low vibe very low vibe i want to know okay twin flame as i said that twin flame okay so i feel like your person's stuck in a situation they could be stuck with they could be committed to somebody else or they could have already had um you know they were dating other people and you didn't know this or they just don't they're just stuck in this really low vibe right now and it may be um triggering you and you're thinking and you're taking on this as if you've done something wrong okay but we're going to take a closer look at why what's going on here why is this person um 
Why is this person stuck? It's just very low vibe energy from your person. They may not have seen this connection for what it was at first, and now they're starting to um, awaken to the idea that this is something deeper. Okay, they may not have known a relationship like this before you. All right, universal alignment, the star card. Okay, Aquarius energy. This is all about having faith. And this is also about healing and being guided and just, just, just kind of relaxing in the moment and knowing that all this is going to work out in your favor. The problem here, look at this, the masculine energy again, the emperor energy. It's your DM. All right, it's your DM. There's a, I'm going to clarify these afterwards and see what's really going on with your DM. But um, there, that's the issue you're having. That's the problem. So what's the foundation here? Soul contract. All right, you feel like this person has done is not doing right by you. Okay, you really feel like they're not they're not um, being honest with you, and they're not being honest with this connection. Okay, and you just feel like it could be a Libra you're connecting with, and an Aries or an Aquarius, but you definitely feel like you want this person to to show up for you. Okay, and make things right. Okay, in the recent past, there might have been a block in relationship. I mean, in messaging, you may have gone from you know breadcrumbing kind of like. You'd get messages, but then you'd be you'd message back and you'd be left on red and things like that. And it really will clarify that, but it really, really put um, you in a place. And the, your crowning energy is you just want this person to open up their heart and you want a new beginning in love. You really feel for this person and you want to have a new beginning. Right? In the near future, remember this is weekly read. Looks like we're going to be fighting or arguing about something. So there will be an argument coming up for you and um, the two of you are very or one of you are very defensive, one's on guard, or the both of you just fighting for, you know, what's right here. Here's you, all right? Here's you, you know, taking a step back. You may back off a little bit from this person, and let's see your person, all right? They may finally make a decision because you decided to back off, all right? They might feel like they're actually going to lose this opportunity with you. Your hopes or fears is that you're going to lose this person, that they're not going to take action. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. All right, but you're afraid that there's going to be a power struggle here. And if you, you're afraid if you speak up and start holding your ground and your integrity, you know, you know, standing true to your integrity, you feel like you might, um, this person might not take action and might just, it might just end. Okay. Or there could be a heated, intense emotions, explosion. You know, you just feel like, I think you're trying to avoid some sort of conflict because this person could be an intense type of person, somebody who, um, really, um, it just gets very defensive at first and just doesn't think before they speak, okay? Possible outcome here is messages of love, though. It is talking about communication and the two of you actually, the Page of Cups is about opening up and actually starting to express love back and forth, okay? So it's a, it's, it's a start. It's an emotional message, okay? So let's clarify. Let's clarify these cards for you getting more in the evening tonight around here so I'm trying to keep it down a little Woo. the two of cups wanted to fly out soulmate connection it's just starting off a little bit rocky twin flame The Emperor. What's going on with the Emperor card here? The Knight of Pentacles. They're just not moving. They're not taking action towards this. They're acting like they they don't want to move. Okay. They're they're just they're being stubborn, stubborn for some reason, and it's really really um, affecting you. It's affecting you. It's it's creating some insecurities within you, and it's triggering you because you're not you don't understand why this person doesn't want to move. Right, and why they're not speaking to you. And it's like I have the justice card with the page of swords in reverse. So they're being some dishonesty, but they're also still keeping an eye on you and stalking you and keeping an eye on everything that you're doing. And maybe they're making you feel like you're being dishonest about something, but it's a reflection off of how they're being. Right, but they are keeping an eye on you and they're stalking maybe and, and seeing everywhere you go and what you do. Um but I also just see it as, you know, a lack of communication here too. And it's, it's driving you crazy. Lack of communication is driving you crazy. And you want to know why. Okay. 
So why? Because you got the page here in the near in the past where they just kind of stopped communicating and it's like they, they shut their feelings off. Like they stopped communicating their feelings. It could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well too. And we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So there, there's like some sort of jealousy or emotional burst or something happened here with the two. It could be a same sex relationship too as well. But I feel like um, there was an argument, there was a heated argument and somebody shut their emotions off and somebody got very possessive or very jealous um, or just very intense with the way they handled things. And it created um, a, a fight. You guys just, it created no contact. The two of you may have blocked each other or just they blocked you or you blocked them, okay? But there was a fight here and it was a very passionate fight that just turned very negative, okay? And the both of you shut down. But you still, the Ace of Cups here, the crowning energy, all right? You still want true love with this person. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You want long-term. You want them to show up for you and, and offer a long-term relationship with you and stability. You want to trust them. You want them to be more reliable and more consistent with you in this relationship, all right? So in the near future, we have the Seven of Wands, another argument. So it's like this whole week is going to be about the two of you kind of going back and forth, a couple heated arguments here. All right, why? The lack of communication. That's why you want this person to choose you and you have the conversation. It's like you have the conversation that this person is trying to avoid. And it puts the, your person on defense again. And it's it's like you guys are fighting or arguing over this, this lack of communication. All right. So here we have you maybe backing off the hanged man. You might be just backing off from this, okay? Yeah, and holding back your feelings. You might, you may have been the one or might be the one who's just going to go, I'm done. I'm done, all right? Um, I don't want to be together. I don't want to do this because you're, you're just not treating me. You're not treating me the way I want you to. All right, so your person makes a decision here. And what's the decision? To release the burdens, release the stress, okay? Let's clarify that. All right, they may walk away as well. They may walk away um, or they may regret. They may regret, I'm gonna take one more here. Yeah. They may regret the way they've treated you and they might actually make a decision to open up. So let's see. Well, right now it looks as though the two of you are going to agree on, um, again, after this fight. Man, this is a tough one, Taurus. It's like you two may agree to just shut it off again this week, all right? And your hopes and fears is the king of wands, right? But look, the per they come back and they apologize. <laughs> your person apologizes. So then we have the page of cups as the outcome here. And we have six of swords in reverse, them coming back around. So is this something that happens a lot with you guys? All right? This is in a week here. This is like you go from a burst of a fight in, and you trigger each other, you still want this with them, you want them to show up for you, you have an argument because there's no communication, then you decide to walk away, they put their foot down and say, F it, I'm done too, and then as soon as you fear that they're not gonna, um, they're not gonna come towards you, they come in and apologize. And then the outcome is they message you that they wanna come back, okay? So this is like, I feel like your person is all over the place. I feel like you're doing the work, you're healing. I feel like your person's being wishy-washy back and forth, back and forth. And um, I just, you know, making a decision though. They do, they are making a decision to come back around and, um, and do this with you. So that's the bottom line. It's a twin flame connection, but remember, if this is abusive, or if this is just mentally manipulative and crazy, then back off back off but if this is actually you see healing in progress with this person when they come back okay that's when you know that you're just triggering each other and you're dealing with inner child stuff that's coming up for you and the two of you are growing all right so this week especially because the star i mean the chariot is your overall energy okay and you showed up as the star it's telling me that this is moving in the right direction even though it may not seem like it this week it might seem a little feisty and, and fiery but i think you need this to happen in order for your person to um to kind of i don't want to just shape up or, or or ship out right um but i think this needs to happen but there's a victory here and this is all moving in the right direction so um, this was a, a, a heated one. So 
Um, I'm going to go into the extended if this did resonate with you and we'll take a look at how this progresses over the next one to three months. I'm going to take a look at your person and see what's really going on with them and how they feel about you. Mutual energies between the two if they match up and um, possible challenges that will be coming up for you and throughout the next three months in the overall outcome. All right. I love you guys. I'm on TikTok, Frankie's underscore tarot and Instagram and Facebook, you know, where we do the manifestation group, all free content. You know, I, I, I um, go through, I go live and I teach you how to manifest um, your SP in or money or whatever it is that you want to manifest in. So take advantage of that. It's free. Um, also like and subscribe and I'll see you in the extended. Take care.